Hey, fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today we're going over American measurement in lengths. You can't learn how to juggle by watching me. You have to practice. You can't learn this math without practice. So make sure you have a notebook out and a pencil. I'm going to have a pretest first. Do that pretest. After the pretest, I'm going to go over a lesson on measurement, both on a tape measure and a dial caliper, all in inches and then we'll have a post-test afterwards. So the key is that you have that paper and pencil out, taking notes, do the problems before I do them. So in the US, we use the imperial measurement system, 12 inches equal one foot, three feet equal one yard, and then 5,280 feet equal a mile. I know it's not easy, I know it's not the metric system, but that's the way we do it here in the US. A couple other places uh, might do it as well. So this is your standard tape measure, usually measured to the 16th of an inch, maybe to the 32nd of an inch. After the tape measure, you go to a dial caliper. This is still in inches. It is not broken in half, so it's not gonna be quarters, eight, sixteenths. It's gonna be split into tens. So it's gonna be the tens, the hundreds, the thousands. All right, with that said, let's go ahead and do our pretest. Paper and pencil out, write them down, and then check your answers. I'm gonna go over how to read both of these really essential tools for just about making anything, the tape measure and the dial caliper. All right, here we go. Number one. Write down your answer on that notebook. Number two, right here. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. If you had to pause the video in there, that's fine too. All right, pretest is over. Here are the answers. The first one is five and three quarters, four and fifteen sixteenths, three and five eighths. Number four was two and seven sixteenths. Number three, I don't know how to get rid of this, 1 1.171. Number five was 1.171. Number six, 1.923. Number seven, 2.480. If you got seven out of seven on that test, you're good to go. You know how to read a tape well, and you know how to read dial caliper as well. If you didn't get seven out of seven, stay tuned and I'll go over all of it. Okay, so what we have here is we have our standard ruler or tape measure. This is a full inch, so this is where the inch starts. It is the longest line, so this is kind of our zero mark, and then this is where the inch ends. The next thing I do inside of that inch is I cut it in half. It is the longest line, and that's how I know this is one half. The length of this line tells you the denominator. Start with a full inch, cut it in half. After I cut that inch in half, I cut that half in half to get the next longest line right here. This line is my one quarter. This would be the equivalent of two quarters. This would be my three quarters. So I keep cutting everything in half. The denominator is related to the length of the line. So the largest fraction or the smallest denominator on the longest line. So these would be twos in the bottom, these will be fours. I'm gonna cut those in half. So I cut one fourth in half to get the next longest line. This line's shorter than this one. Half of this, one half times a quarter is an eighth. So this is one eighth. This would be two eighths. This would be three eighths. This would be four eighths, five eighths. This is the equivalent of six eighths. 
this would be 7 eighths. And then the full inch would be 8 eighths. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut those in half. Let's do that in blue. So I'm cutting an eighth and half. That's this one right here. It is the shortest line. That short line is telling you it is going to have a denominator, a bottom number of a sixteenth. So this is one sixteenth. This is the equivalent of two sixteenths, three sixteenths. This would be four sixteenths, five sixteenths, six sixteenths, seven sixteenths, eight sixteenths, nine. Sixteenths. This is the equivalent of ten sixteenths. This would be eleven sixteenths, twelve, thirteen sixteenths, fourteen sixteenths, and fifteen sixteenths. The full inch would be a one. So if I pick out a line like this, first thing I see is is a second shortest line, so I know it's going to be an eighth, and then I count over one, two, three eighths. If I pick out this line right here, it is a third shortest, so it's going to be a quarter. I go one, two, three quarters. If, say, this is my measurement here, this is the shortest line, it is going to be a sixteenth. It is one before the end, or fifteen sixteenths. Okay? Let's see here, let's erase some of this. What is this measurement right here? It is after the one, so it is one and five eighths. What is this measurement right here? It is one and five sixteenths. What is this measurement right here? One and three quarters. This one right here, it's going to be 1 13 sixteenths. Double check, 14 15 16. Last one right here, right here, that is 1 and 1 sixteenths. All right, so that's how we read a tape measure. Next, let's take a look at a dial caliper. So we go up to sixteenths on the tape measure. Now we go to thousandths of an inch. So point zero 0.01, let's see here, point zero 0.01, this is the hundredths place. Point zero 0.012, this is the thousandths place. And this is the tens place. So we have tens, hundreds, thousands. So if you look at the ruler right here, this number right here is zero to one. On the ruler right here, these are tenths, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, all the way up to one. So the first number you're going to write down is the largest number on the bar here. So that's going to be a one point. Then you're going to do the tenths place. So that's going to be related to the number after there, right? So I have this large one. This is my tenths place, so it is also a one. I see the two, but I do not see the bar after the two. So this is 1.1. 1 .1. Then I go to the dial. The dial is telling you tenths, hundreds, thousands. So I go 1.17, and I got to round that to the closest one. So the answer is 1.71. Dial calipers and inches aren't that hard. But they are a little tricky. You got to know that this is your whole unit, this is your tenths, this is your hundredths, and then whatever it lands on is your thousandths. Okay, let me do one more here. Let's say the dial caliper was exactly right here. The dial caliper was exactly right here, and then the bar was here. Well, I am past the zero. So that would be 0.7. I am not at the 8 yet, so it would be 
Let me do another one. Let me change colors here. Let's say the bar is right here, and the dial caliper is right here in blue. It looks like I'm close to the 7, but I'm actually not there, right? I am actually not even at the line of the 6. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I haven't got to the 6 yet. So this would be 0. 0.591. That's the tricky part. I know it's on this side of the line, even though it's hard to see, because the dial is on this side of the 0. If that dial was a little bit past the 0, then I would be just a little bit past the line here. Tape measure first, then the dial caliper. Again, we measure to about the 16th of an inch. After that, then you go to a dial caliper, and we measure to the one thousandth of an inch. Double tick marks are inches, one tick mark are feet. So you stay fractional, and then you go to thousandths of an inch, all still all in inches. All right, ready for the test? So what you want to do right here is write down your answers. I'll pause. You might have to pause the video as well. So let's see here, we have our first one. Problem number two. Problem number three. Problem number four. Problem number five. Problem number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. Number 11, and then there are the answers. Hopefully you can see those. See if that, I think I'll disappear there. So one, two, three, four, five, one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If you, didn't, if, you, if you got those right, fantastic. That is excellent. Uh, you're really good at measurement, both off of tape and dial calipers. Again, an essential skill. You can see that a lot uh, in machining, in manufacturing, in mechanics, aviation. Everything's about measurement and tolerances. It's not the easiest system in inches because you're using fractional here. You're staying in inches to the thousandth of an inch. All right, I'm going to go back through that second test and show you the answers. If you got them all right, just go ahead and hit like, share this video with anybody else. If you didn't get them all right, let's go through them right now. Let me go all the way back. Okay, this one right here, our number one is three and one eighth. Sixteenth eighth, three and one eighth. The next one is six. Here's a half. Shortest line, it's got to be a sixteenth, six and nine sixteenths, six and nine sixteenths. Next one is six, a half, second to the shortest, it's got to be an eight. So it is one, two, three, four, five eighths, six and five eighths. Six, short one, so it's a sixteenth, one, two, three, four, five, six and five sixteenths or one after a quarter. Six, it's going to be a sixteenth. There's a quarter, so that has to be three quarters. Or twelve sixteenths, I come back one to get eleven sixteenths. Six and eleven sixteenths, or I know here's a half, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So six and eleven sixteenths. We're on the calipers here. I have one 
I could see the four, but I cannot see the bar after the four. So this is 1.353. I could see the one, but I can't see the bar after it. This is 2.08. Two point zero eight zero. One point one five nine. One point one five nine thousandths of an inch. This one I could see the five, but not the bar after it. This is one point four four three. One point four four three. This one is a little bit past the line, and this dial is saying it's a little bit past the line. It's kind of in between those two, but closer to that one. So this is 2.105. 2.105. Two All right, thanks for watching. If you like that video, please like and share. Uh, any comments or questions, please post them in the comments. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.